Hi everyone, Dr. Richard Visser here. Welcome to the episode, one of our peptide series. Today, we're laying down the entire foundation. Before we talk stacks protocol and advanced regeneration, we need to build a crystal clear understanding. What are peptides? How do they work? Why are athletes, physicians, longevity research turning to them? And which categories actually matter? Today, I'm going to take you from the basics to the five major peptide categories, to the most effective stacks with the human research behind each one. This episode becomes your reference point for everything that comes next. What peptides actually are? Peptides are short chain amino acids, tiny versions of protein, but they don't build blocks. They're not building blocks like protein. They're messengers. They tell your body what to repair, what to grow, what to reduce, or how to regenerate. Think peptides as instruction signals. Your body builds, you know, has a built-in software, and these update them. Different peptides send different signals. Burn fat here, repair this tendon, increase collagen, improve immune surveillance, boost growth hormone rhythm, enhance mitochondrial resilience, and it goes on. This is why peptides are exploding in longevity and regenerative medicine. They're specific, but they're not magic, okay? They're targeted, but again, they're not a magic wand. They act on natural pathways. They take time. They're not synthetic override, which is great, right? So let's go over, based on the research, the five major peptide categories. One, repair and regeneration, BPC-157, TB-500. Fat loss and metabolic optimization, retotrutride, GLP-1, GIP, and GCG agonist, glucagon. Growth hormone and recovery, CJC125, ipamorelin, and tessamorelin. Skin, hair, cellular aesthetics, G, HK, CU, palmitoil, and pentapeptide, acetyl hexapeptide 3. Finally, mitochondrial health and energy, NAD, MOT C, SS31, 5 amino, 1 MQ. These categories help you understand what to combine, what to separate, and what goals each stack actually support. So let's get into it. Repair and regeneration, the Wolverine stack. This is BPC-157 and TB-500. This is the most respected healing blend, pathways, angiogenesis, fibroblast activation, actin remodeling, collagen organization, infl inflammation modulation, the benefits are faster tendon and ligament repair, gut lining regeneration, muscle healing, reduced inflammatory markers. And then I'm going to present you with the key research on BPC-157 and TB-500. Promotes tendon to bone healing, angiogenesis, and tissue repair. TB-500 accelerates wound healing by promoting actin polymerization, Animal and early human data show synergistic repair effects. These peptides activates your body's natural healing cascade, not artificial growth. That's why it works. Okay, let's talk about fat loss. And in the previous episode, I talked about this. So go back to that. Retitutide, the triple agonist. This one sits in its class by its own. And we talked about it because it targets three receptors all at once. GLP-1, appetite, and insulin. In short, go back to the previous episode if you want the full gig. GIP, metabolic flexibility, glucagon receptor, fat oxidation. This is why weight loss is accompanied by reduced visceral fat, you know, the bad toxic fat that you have around your waist and in your, on your liver, better metabolic markers, lower inflammation, better lipid handling, okay? And here we look at the key research. 2023, NEJM, retitutide trial, 24% weight reduction, uh, natural medicine, 2024, 
significant improvements in liver fat, insulin resistance, cardiometabolic uh, markers. So it's not just a weight loss drug or peptide. It's really a metabolic reset, which takes it to a whole different level and category. With category three, we have, we're going to talk about growth hormone, right? GH and recovery. CJC125, 1295, and This is the safer psychologic growth hormone approach. So what do they do? They restore natural growth hormone pulsatility. That's how your body produces it. So it stimulates the natural pulsatile kind of waves uh, and how you're supposed to produce it. Improve recovery and repair. Increase IGF-1 with physiologic range. So it stays within the range. Improve sleep depth, improve body composition. And it really helps also if we're on these weight loss drugs or we're doing weight loss because we got muscle loss, we don't wanna have muscle loss. So this kind of offsets that. Why it matters? You are not injecting GH. You're telling your own pituitary, wake up, produce again, but stay natural. Okay, the research back in this, CJC1295, increases uh, endogenous growth hormone and IGF-1 for days. This is on GCEM2006. Ipamorelan increased GH pulses without affecting cortisol or prolactin, PMID, and so together they improve body composition and recover in adults. So it's a great combo. All the research to back it right here if you want to go through it. So now we have the category four, which is skin, hair, and cellular aesthetics. We all want that, right? So it's the beauty regeneration peptide. Proven actions. It upregulates 4,000 or more genes related to repair. Increases collagen and elastin. Improves angiogenesis, meaning blood flow and, you know, circulatory system. Enhances wound healing, reduces inflammation, supports hair follicle enlargement. And this is GHKCU, all right? And we're gonna combine it also. So, improves skin elasticity, reduces wrinkles, enhances wound healing, nerve regrowth even, and tissue remodeling. Okay, so what would we do as the glow stack, what they're calling the glow stack, the stack for, you know, looking good? That would be GHKCU plus palmitol pentapeptide plus acetyl hexapeptide 3. Collagen boost, wrinkle reduction, expressions line, relaxation. So it's kind of like your natural little bit of Botox. Okay? Category 5. This becomes for people that really go deep for athletes and non-athletes alike. But it's really looking at mitochondrial health. Mitochondrial is the battery of every cell. So we need to have this. And as we get old, this starts going slow. Uh, you know, it's not as when it was when we were young. So this is something we need to look at. Okay, so these peptides that turn the lights back on. MOTC improves insulin sensitivity, enhances exercise performance, activates AMPK, increases mitochondrial biogenesis, and here's the research in cell metabolism 2015. So there's been numerous human trials for cardiac and muscle dysfunction. We've seen the SS31 targets cardiolipin, reduces mitochondrial leakage, improves ATP production, and I mean, that's, that's huge for, for your mitochondria. The other thing is that when we look at NAD, NMN, NR, uh, cofactors, these are cofactors for mitochondrial repair and sirtuin activation, longevity. They're not main drivers, but it's needed, okay? And then you have the 5-amino-1-MQ. It reduces NNMT promotes increased energy expenditure, enhances fat loss. So when we look at all of these, and this is kind of, you know, I'm going through them so you have them in categories, right? Not all peptides enhance each other. 
but most will not interfere with each other. Okay, so if you have a GHQ CU plus BPC 157 plus TB 500, this works beautifully. It's internal external repair synergy. Okay, when you use tessamorelin and ipamorelin, complementary growth hormone pathways. Perfect. So this is how we need to look at them. How do we, how, who do we use together? What do we need to have done? Retatutide, this stands alone. Add GH or repair peptides after stabilization phase. So after you stabilize, after you get to your where you want to be with the weight loss, then you add GH and repair peptides. Mod C and NAD, mitochondrial synergy. Okay, so those go together. So what I've tried to do here in the first episode on, on peptides, it's really give you kind of a foundation. What peptides are, why they matter, the five major categories, the stacks that work, um, and the research that backs them. Now remember, this is not miracle, okay? This is a slow enhancement that your body produces itself so it takes time it's not going to happen right away it's not like a magic pill like i take it today or you know i i, I take you know it's actually not a pill most of them are kind of you know little injections you put in the fat area of your belly um but it's not going to happen overnight so it takes time give it time and do, don't go running after all the different ones. Try one, stick with it, and see what it does. So, you know, it's, it's precision biology. Signals that tell your body how to perform at its best. And when combined with the fundamentals, which is strength training, sleep, metabolic stability, purpose, human connection, you get real lasting longevity. So combine it. And remember, it's not magic. Give it time. Thank you. Ring the bell notification. Share with friends. Let's get on this. Let's get my channel up there. I need, I need you guys to, you know, give me some feedback. Subscribe, please. Thank you. Let's grow this. See you next time.